Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about the four main reasons why someone might be poor. While poverty is a complex issue with many underlying causes, we will focus on four main reasons that are often within an individual's control. Firstly, one of the reasons why you might be poor is a lack of education. Education is a key factor in increasing earning potential and accessing better job opportunities. Without adequate education and training, individuals may struggle to find well-paying jobs or they may be stuck in low-paying positions with limited room for advancement. For instance, someone who only has a high school diploma may be limited to lower-paying jobs in industries such as retail or food service. Meanwhile, someone with a college degree may have access to higher-paying jobs in fields such as healthcare or engineering. In this sense, a lack of education can limit an individual's earning potential and contribute to poverty. Secondly, another reason why you might be poor is a lack of financial literacy. Financial literacy refers to the knowledge and skills needed to effectively manage personal finances. Without this knowledge, individuals may make poor financial decisions that can lead to financial distress and poverty. For example, someone who doesn't know how to create a budget may struggle to make ends meet each month. Similarly, someone who doesn't understand the importance of saving money may not have a safety net in case of unexpected expenses or job loss. In this sense, a lack of financial literacy can contribute to poverty by limiting an individual's ability to manage their finances effectively. Thirdly, a third reason why you might be poor is lack of access to resources. Resources such as healthcare, housing and transportation can be expensive and difficult to access for individuals with low incomes. Without access to these resources, individuals may struggle to maintain their health, find stable housing, or get to work. For instance, someone who doesn't have access to affordable health care may struggle to manage chronic conditions, leading to missed work and increased medical expenses. Similarly, someone who can't afford stable housing may be forced to rely on unstable and unsafe living situations, which can negatively impact their health and well-being. In this sense, Lack of access to resources can contribute to poverty by limiting an individual's ability to meet their basic needs. Lastly, another reason why you might be poor is a lack of social capital. Social capital refers to the social networks and relationships that individuals have, which can provide access to resources, job opportunities and other forms of support. Without these networks, individuals may struggle to access opportunities and resources that could help them improve their financial situation. For example, Someone who doesn't have professional contacts may struggle to find job opportunities that align with their skills and interests. Similarly, someone who doesn't have a supportive social network may struggle to find the emotional and practical support they need to navigate financial challenges. In this sense, a lack of social capital can contribute to poverty by limiting an individual's access to resources and support. In conclusion, poverty is a complex issue with many underlying causes. While these four reasons are often within an individual's control, it's important to recognize that poverty is not solely the result of individual actions or circumstances. Often, poverty is the result of systemic issues, such as inequality, discrimination, and lack of access to resources. Therefore, it's crucial that we not only address individual behaviors, but also work to address these larger societal issues. 